right, now, now they're gonna play their match. Yeah. I'm assuming this they is best of five. each other? Yes. That's so cute. For the teamsmanship. All right, let's see. It's still best of three. Yes. I love it. It's still I best love of it. three? There's no way. Oh, we're getting out of here on That's time. That's insane. Zane. That's right. And maybe finals would be best of one if we play our cards right. <laughs> let's go. So watching it again, we see who's kind of taking point. Polish and Crudo kind of switching off. Mm -hmm. J-Mook protecting the side of the stage. But taking some damage in the process. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Crudo just barely doesn't pick that up. A lot of things just happened. Oh, what a run cancel F tilt from J-Mook. I love it, I oh, love the, it, I love it. The J-God has done his Kakuar dashing. Crudo babysitting J-Mook. Double edge guard. Slight lead from the blue team. It's mostly cosmetic. If IBDW or Cody can just hit a back air on Crudo, it's going to be the start. I don't know. Crudo's been really good at holding these. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough out there. Best of five. Best it's of five. It's a best of five. Okay, oh, okay, no, okay. I can play oh, too Jake, much. You're so sad. Yeah. Well, I get to watch more melee. This is just really the worst outcome I'll for me. Smash out of shield. Really I nice. Love it. I know what that Jada is, is a big doing? believer in that. So The Beetle King? Uh huh. The Beetle King themselves. Very good. Okay. Crudo, unfortunately in trouble for a little bit. Oh my god, I was worried when they both got launched. I thought it was going to be a Cody Double up there. Double up kill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he went for it too, Cody. Cody and, and J-Mook have been going for a few things. Oh, this is huge. Crudo, can you edge guard two people at once? No. Oh god, how did that needle happen? Oh, the tech is crucial. Peach can't get up there in time. I need to see that back. I don't know how J-Mook saved IBDW there. But it happens. Cody Schwab. And now it's J Mook who has to prove that he can hold on to the stock. Just and throw it's a bunch of again a, just an, a, a chic fair that's going to end it. Kuro's so good at finding that. Yeah. Just in those spots where the opponent is cornered at high percent. Unfortunate grab from J Mook. Polish is, Polish is in danger. Polish is also in down smash mode, correctly blendering. It's a huge part of doubles. Bad DI from Cody, but can J-Mook save? It's not going to happen this no. time. Oh, good presence of mind there from Polish. You don't need to hit the Fox there. You need to hit the Sheik so that she doesn't have a chance to save. Oh. oh. Doesn't quite kill J-Mook. Could have been bad, but in the end, a really good up smash by Cody. A really important skill in Fox doubles is just find the kill at the right spot in the chaos. Cody got one out there. Okay. Last stocks for red team here. Another kind of tricky DI spot for... Cody, but knew that Jamie was going to come back. The percent is building up. No jump. Oh, oh my he had God. it. And he uses it. Cody. It's such a crucial situation. Uh, Crudo just Down trying to, to throw as fast as possible, get out of danger. Oh. We talked about that death sentence when she grabs. Who's going to recover here? Jamie, can you get a save? No he does way. get it, but Crudo picks it up, and there's but, no chance here. Oh, but. So there you saw Polish not do the nair. That was smart. A miss Q. This is this is important. This is important. Jmook gets back to stage. Polish protects the ledge. Crudo is back, but Polish is gonna have to advance forward towards Jmook right now. Crudo is at too high of a percent, and now it's just gonna be how to set up. Nice. That's well done. I love the way that they played that. They shepherded Jmook to the other corner, put him back in a in a tricky situation, and then all you need is one hit. We've got a fight in New Jersey. Uh huh. We have somebody actually challenging Jmook and Cody for the. First time in forever. It's It's been a bit. Yeah. It's been a while. Very dominant team, super confident though. There's really not much that can shake them at this point. It's gonna have to take a very high level of play to finish this out. For the counter pick, it is. Stadium, mm -hmm. they will find some early kills with Fox. We've got the standoff to start out with. That's a stitch face. That's, That's why a stitch face that just hit. J-Mook. Oh man. It was J-Mook stitch the whole time. Oh my god, they're taking no damage. Red team on the warpath. And Polish is dead. Polish is gone. Crudo in trouble. Polish stopping the bleeding, but again, eating Nair Shine Nair from Cody, who is on fire right now. Cody just stood in place for four seconds. What was that? Just scared Calculating. Away. Almost a kill. Oh god, that is going to be a kill on Crudo. Unless no, is the what is down safe. here? Excellent job. But I cannot believe how fast these stocks are evaporating off the blue team. They need to get some stage positioning back, or this is going to be brutal. Wow, and Polish actually tries to get back to stage there. I think a lot of peaches just float forever there. I think so, too. 
Double edge guard for blue team. No! Polish used their jump, and it wasn't even enough to close out j -Mook. An awful, awful trade. And you see just j -Mook totally willing to let those needles fly, mm -hmm. just to close off that area of the stage for a bit. Crudo off stage, another double edge guard opportunity. Okay. j -Mook slips off. Okay. It's still all red team, but it's more and more doable. Yeah. This time, Polish does disengage. One of Peach's big strengths in teams is that she can sort of just choose to not interact during invincibility. Oh, I thought Polish was kidnapped for sure after that back throw, but they managed to make it out. Crudo gets caught down smashing. Polish alone. Wow. Cody. Cody, Cody catching everybody today. Yeah, and, and I want to point out that the way that he killed Crudo there, he actually kind of mixed up the SDI by placing his up air on the right a little bit. I think it was really smart by him. It's like the level 75 Fox stuff, right? Yeah, When exactly. you start just tricking everybody on the And the angle. Oh, God, it's all Cody the jump shine. Another dead Peach. And that's going to be Polish already losing all of their stocks. Oh, Crudo. no. Oh, okay, what? okay, what? The oh. oh, they're just, they know uh, that it had to have been a save. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because now there are just no resources. So you have to do something nuts. But this is a clinic from the red team. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to go for it all. Interesting. So, Stadium, a hugely influential counter pick there. Cody got so many kills off the top at percentages right where Stadium makes a difference. But I also think Cody just kind of turned it up a notch, right? I think, I think so. that Polish and Crudo have a new beast on their hands going into game three. You're absolutely right. And just to do a little bit of psychoanalysis from the from the commentator's Please. desk. Would love that. Both of these players respond to adversity, Cody and Jmook, in very different ways. Mm. Jmook tries to stay present, calm, kind of suppress the emotion. Cody uses kind of the rage. Yeah, he opens the next gate. That's right. And now let's see what Polish and Crudo do. I think they should, that was a, that was a competent shaking game. Yeah. It's going to be, you're just going to have to convince yourself you can stay back in it. It's I don't think they're worried about that, honestly. No, they're, they're good enough. That they know they belong on the stage. That's it. Oh my god, it, it looks kind of similar to oh, the last no. game. Oh, 51% well, down smash means that blue team gets to release their breath a little bit. It's important. Okay. J Mook edge guarding Polish, but Kruda with a little bit of a team save. Now it's J Mook in trouble a little bit. Polish correctly setting up for another edge guard, but Jacob just not at high enough percent. Polish left to defend the stage, does so well. Again, Jacob actually gets twisted up, but the <laughs> extension there. Cody was aiming for the up smash on Polish, but because of the hitbox extension from Shield, gets it on Crudo. Oh, and that? It's low. Oh, that angle. It's too good. The way Cody used Shine Stalls there, too. So good. And now it's time to beat up on Jacob while Cody recovers. Some good decisions being made from both teams. Again, it's going to be tough to edge guard both of them. Yeah. But that's Cody gone. Team oh. combo, J Mook escapes. Great jump shine from Cody. But J Mook, he J -Mook's just lets dead. Him. Yeah. At a pretty low percent. Cody doesn't save, and J Mook trying to pick up this team combo on Crudo, but Polish and Crudo have established control again. I'll also say this. I think Crudo is a pretty big adapter. Oh, oh. Cody. We're okay, okay. off the he, stage. He's alive. He's alive. I think Crudo is a pretty on. big adapter. When I play this guy on net play, I'll That's have right. like a, a kind of <laughs> close game. game one, close. And I'm like, wow, am I, am I okay at this game? And Are then he just now? ridiculously destroys me game two because he realizes all of my <gasps> bad habits. Cody. Oh, no. Another miscue. That and could that be the set. I mean, that actually could be the set. It 100% could. This could be a dead Cody because of that. Polish is still alive. Live at 130 on Dreamland. Uh oh, okay, but okay, now okay. it's going to be a 2v1 on Crudo. What can they get out of it? If Crudo escapes with less than 70, it's a... just under 70, but I, I, I still think it's okay. And these down smashes from Polish have been so well placed. It's really bad because now Cody goes from having a fresh stock to being at a CC percentage for a lot of stuff versus Sheik. Not quite yet, but another down smash, and that happens, right? Percent matters so much versus Fox and doubles. Cody's recovery's been good, but it's been a couple of miscues. It is a best of five, so this isn't the end, but it's dangerous. Well, I mean, it's so close still, even with that that flub from Cody. It is. Red team kind of in the driver's seat, I have to say. At the start of this match, it's looking a little bit better positionally. A oh, miscue. Again, yeah. Polish taking a nap on the platform there. Now totally in the perfect spot to edge guard Jmook. Oh, I thought it was oh. down smash, but you just can do two nares instead if you're Polish, I guess. If you just press buttons that fast and you scare everyone that much, you can find that kill. 
and almost go up 2-1 versus the best team possibly in the world right now. Polish gonna disengage, wait for the invincibility, he's gonna run out of it here. No jump, but it does get back to stage safely. That's all that matters. Up smash is gonna kill Polish. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, Crudo's in trouble. Yep. Okay. Crudo just getting combo too much right now. Can't escape the vortex. Polish too far away to help. Oh, wait a sec, this could be a fake lead for blue team. Oh. Where's Crudo? Crudo's there. there. He's there, he's fine. Really good back here from IBDW, but Crudo still manages to chase down. Oh my god, and Cody with the perfect interruption there. Now Polish has two stocks. You really don't like this 2v1. You want Crudo to be able to protect a bit. This is important, this is important. They're gonna take ledge, oh, yup, no, yup, we all knew it was coming. Yeah, we saw that one happening. This is gonna be a tough 2v1, it's a big stage, so if you catch one of them, you might be able to catch on a wares, but... <gasps> Cody. Cody's off stage, no, 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 but he, he's safe because Polish doesn't have time to challenge. j looks too close. Yep. Oh. This is where great teams emerge. The ability to close out any 2v1 at any percent. Polish is too low right now. Yeah, I think Cody just holds. Do it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's what close. a close match. And it all comes down to Kurdo has a propensity for just Shinos or Sammy stalling on the edge. Cody right? yelling at the crowd now. Oh, no. Oh, they're thinking Etos is shit talking. I don't think he is. I don't know what's happening. I actually believe Etos was cheering for JMook. Cody got confused, and now there's been some friendly fire toward Etos. Oh, uh, uh, poor Etos. That's, that's bad for team cohesion there. <laughs> But probably gets Cody a little bit more into it, so. Yeah, honestly, probably a power-up. Utah should start flaming Cody instead. I think that would be more that valuable be, in terms of... That would be the, the level 1,000 IQ. Yeah. Um, we got we to gotta get Utah to, to flame Cody so that JMook's team can play better. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, man. Okay. I can't believe it. I, like, everyone in the venue knew that Crudo was just going to Sammy yeah, stall right no, there. I know. And, and he just or, kept, you know, like, like, you know, I get it. The but, oh, God. Oh, wow. They get both of them. And Red Team had a couple of miskeys game three. Now they are completely in sync again. Yep, yep. Executing on the grab to kill. They go for the 2v1 on IBDW, and it does not work out at all. And Crudo's off stage. Cody oh, was just God. at the buffet picking which entree he wanted. Do I get oh. to engage a Polish or Crudo? I it's like the good. idea by Crudo, but it did not right? work out. Yeah. Oh, it's just not coming up for them. It is all Jmook and Cody right now. Good trade by Polish, but can they finish off? There's going to be no needle from Jmook. I love that Jmook retreats to top platform. Both of these characters, she can Peach have to put themselves at risk to reach that top platform when there's a fox down below. It's true. It's very dangerous. And the Sheik, too. Uh-oh. Where's this going? Oh, okay. Wow, but it doesn't matter. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and Crudo does not get the ledge stolen this time, but still gets put in a tricky situation. Should be dead. Jay is so fast. Yep. Yeah, doesn't even you don't have bother with it. Use that resources to go after Polish. Oh, my goodness. Just feels like Crudo has just been attacked for the last 45 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the falling oh. up air, back air, back oh. air from Jay Mook. Oh, double, double poof. poof. A double, double poof, actually. That was a quadruple <laughs> poof. <laughs> you need that for the blue team right now. Polish, unfortunately, not high enough to finish off that edge guard. Jay Mook in trouble right Forward now. Air, Cody's smash. nowhere. But okay, that's, that's death for Cody. Can Polish close this out? Crudo's gonna run over to the other side of the stage. And obs attack. A really crucial obs attack there. Okay, okay, Polish closes it out, and it's suddenly Doable for blue team. Yeah, Stocks very high are even, percent. percent are not. Crudo barely lives. There was a spot Jamin should have held down into down smash to go to the right of the stage and try and help Cody. But it, it doesn't go too badly. That's death. Oh, we've seen this situation before. <gasps> Man, and Cody's once again, it's not going to work out for Crudo. Cody's so confident there, even a low percent, to just engage with this Sheik just because he knows Jamin's there and just because he's one of the best players in the world. Okay, Polish interrupting the combo on Crudo. They're trying to find their way past the JMook wall, but just to back their right into Cody Town. And now it's just bullying. Oh, Crudo doesn't get the punish there. Yep. Cody just bullying out of the corner by himself. JMook now comboing Crudo with the up airs, but there? Where is he taking Crudo? Give him back. 
<laughs> Let him go. Oh! Okay. Slight miscue, but it... I mean, they're at such high percent. That's the death of Crudo, and that's oh. the death of Polish, and that is the death of the set. It looked like for a second Polish and Crudo could muster a fight. Yeah. But if you yell at Cody Schwab enough, his power becomes un ungated, unlimited. <laughs> yeah, the unfortunate miscue from everybody <laughs> to, to power up Cody even further. E Etoss played this very well, I have to say. Actually, yeah, no, that was... By making Cody think that he was blaming him. Yeah, that's that's what we call a top-level stream monster uh -huh. at the end of the day, just orchestrating the match. Polish and Crudo definitely proved that they were there, but just outmatched at the end yeah. by the best team in the building. Yep. And now <laughs> Etos is trying to explain it. I wouldn't explain it. I would just leave it go. You need him to win winners, finals, and grand finals. I would shit-talk him more right now. Yeah, I would say you're looking pretty short right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible. It's just because Etos is like very tall. Etos uh, messaged me. How actually. tall is Etos? I actually don't know. He's just kind of Midwestern. Is he that tall? Yeah, he's he's, just kinda, he he's kind tall. of a bigger guy. He's pretty tall. I don't really know. No. It's hard to say. Well, it looks like Rishi and Lod have emerged victorious just by nature that they are standing up and uh, about to play what looks like winter semis. And they're brothers. It would be cool to have brother versus brother. Can we get that? If or, or like the brotherhood versus oh yeah the Outdoor brothers Foxy versus yeah. yeah let's see if that's possible because that, that would be I feel like then you have to 